Alice have not seen Mr. Luke yet, and no, you do not need to come to the. <laughs> oh my God! I am so sorry. I was completely distracted by my housekeeper. No worries. Forget it. It's not every day I get chicken soup. Uh, actually, it's chicken tarragon, but. Chicken you... tarragon soup. You know, dumped all over me by Tracy Quartermain. You know me? Doesn't everybody in this town know Tracy Quartermain? Or should I say Tracy Zakara? Uh. Only if you want to wear the rest of that suit. So no love lost. Actually, to tell you the truth, I did not shed a tear at his passing. Oh, here, let me do that. Lift up. You surprised me, Tracy. A woman like you could have done a lot better for herself than a uh, bottom feeder like Zakara. Do you... live here in Port Charles? I'm in Port Charles on business, staying here at the Metro Court. What's your, um, room number? <laughs> you work fast. No, 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 324. no, no. 324. Listen, um, you know what? I need to go change my shirt, so would you like to come? No, I'd like to pay for your dry cleaning. Not necessary. I insist. What's your name? Joe, or Joseph, if you prefer. Nice to meet you, Joseph. Next time, we'll skip the soup. Tracy. You can keep the handkerchief. Spanky, what a surprise. Trace? Huh? Oh, hi, honey. Uh, uh Luke? Hi. What's got you so preoccupied? <clears throat> well, I, um, wouldn't you like to know? What are you doing? Standing outside my door with a pot of, uh, gold? Uh, uh, soup. Soup, soup, soup. Um, we heard that you had been released from the hospital, so Alice prevailed upon Cook to make you some soup, and they prevailed upon me to bring it to you. Sweet. For future reference, I prefer my soup in a bowl rather than on the floor. Yeah. Well, my fault. I, uh, accidentally dumped it on a um, man. Did you know? Yes, I did. Yeah, he was very charming about it. Mmm, charming and dripping in my soup. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, thank Alice and Cook for me, will you? I will, of course. And I'd like to thank you for your efforts, slapping it all the way over here and slopping it all over my door. Oh, um, you know what? I'm going to go call housekeeping. Hey, you want to come in? Um, is, is Anna there? I, I mean, she must be thrilled to have you back in one piece, almost. Anna's gone. And they said it wouldn't last. Anna being gone has nothing to do with our relationship. Or lack thereof. Anna's in Switzerland, thanks to your friend Heather Weber, who sent her there on a wild goose chase. Wait a minute, my friend? Well, this whole nightmare started when Heather came to visit you. Looking for you! And found Anthony's body. Right where you left it. Me? We? Well, I didn't have a choice, Mr. I know how to cover up a murder. All right, all right. Well, the point is, Heather told Anna that Robin is still alive. Sorry, that's impossible. I know. Can you imagine what's going to happen to Patrick if he finds out that Anna's off looking for Robin? We have to keep this under our hats. Wait a minute. Why would Anna believe a word that Heather Weber says? You don't realize how convincing Heather can be. She's locked up in the nut house, and she can't hurt Anna physically. So she's messing with her mind. It's her twisted way of punishing her. And where is Anna now? She's in Switzerland, but I tried to call her. She's not answering. Well, probably she doesn't want you trying to convince her to come home. Oh, she knows I can't convince her to do anything. But the way she's feeling right now, her grieving, she's vulnerable to false hope. She's not thinking correctly. So she takes a wasted trip to Zurich. What's the big deal? 
She, you don't spend a life in counterintelligence and not make enemies. I'm, wait a minute. It's my phone. Oh, it's Anna. Anna! Anna? Uh, Anna, I'm getting every third word. Where are you? Anna! Oh. Luke, she's gonna call back. It was a bad connection. Maybe so, but whatever she was saying sounded like it was urgent. And you're going where? I'm gonna throw some things in a bag. I'm gonna go find her. Forget it. You can't. If you just get out of the hospital, you can barely walk even with a cane. You can't go traipsing all over Switzerland, which, by the way, is an entire country, not just a shopping Look, mall. Look, I have to go. She might be in danger. <laughs> Luke, Heather Weber told a terrible lie. Anna believed it. Heartbreaking, not dangerous. Yeah? Well, suppose someone dangerous used Heather to lure Anna to Switzerland. Heather is crazy. Why would anyone use her for anything? That is exactly what I have to find out. Luke, Anna does not need you to rescue her. And if she did, you're in no condition to do yeah, it. I need a flight to Geneva. Have you got anything in the next two hours? Hang up. What? Oh, give me the phone. I'll give you the jet. You would do that for me? You'd let me use your jet? Well, strictly speaking, it's not my jet. It is the ELQ jet. And yes, I will let you use it. I think it's a fool's errand, but I can see how concerned you are for Anna. And I'm not going to be able to stop you from going, so you might as well ride in style. I know you don't want to hear this, but Tracy, it always seems like you come through when I really need you. Does that translate as always being a sucker? This was important to me. I thank you so much. Just don't scratch the seats. They're Corinthian leather. <laughs> 